All right, um, for sale that we went to, and we actually found some stuff. Everybody must be going in the other direction. Um, we got no, to... they said people were there at 8.30 this morning, or 8 o'clock, and they didn't start until 10. Well, maybe they didn't put the jewelry out. Maybe they, that's why you got some of it. But uh, one of the first things I saw that I got was this bowl. I guess. Right, one, two, some three, glasses four. on. Um, I like this. I like this handle, or this the support. It's just a man holding it, and it has two feet. I didn't realize it had the ZTE thing on it. Uh, two, 2010. Marie says it's probably a company. I don't know, uh, but it's made by Carol Boys. I looked up her uh, her name, and her stuff seems to go for money. Actually, I think I spelled it wrong, so I'm gonna have to recheck. Probably why not a lot of things came up. This could be good though. Um, what's the deal with these earrings? I don't know. I couldn't see. It. I saw oh. China. Okay, so they could be like they silver. Could be silver. But... Yeah. Uh, you took this marcasite pen because I saw you didn't take all of them. No, because some of them look like they dip them. Uh, Never dip your marcasite jewelry in silver. Coins. Right, because then when you clean it, the stones will come off. Because what happens is the silver gets like white, which yeah. you know that kind of hurts. The, the effect of the marcasite is it's supposed to look vintage. It's supposed to look older. I, I think we spent eighty for everything. It's supposed to have everything. some patina. If you clean it to the point where the silver is like almost white, it just doesn't look right. Yeah, exactly. And now you've messed with the glue that's holding those marcasites in. Right. And they're going to be falling out. So Definitely. I'm not. Yeah, because they just glue them in. The old ones, they were sediment stuff. Yeah. Um, so you spent 70 and I spent uh, 10 on my bowl. I think I'm going to be good with my bowl. Um, I wish I didn't I do that. I almost didn't but... get that because there's so many of things like that. Yeah, but at $5, or... it's less than scrap. You know what I mean? If this is an ounce, that's like twenty-five bucks. It right was now. heavy, and it is heavy. And it had some I could weigh it, but no, you got this one was a definite. Um, these you're gonna check and see. You they're marked they're, something, but it says China, so they might be nine two five. You have your loop there, so you. But can I check. like them. No, they're nice. And I keep them. Keep them or give that's them. That's coral. Yeah, this is coral. This is the first thing I picked up before I started looking at everything else. I, I saw this coral. I guess it's a choker. Uh, I'm not I don't sure. know. It's still cool. It might be a longer. I, I thought you might like this. Is anybody made this? Um, that's uh, LCI, Liz Claiborne. Okay. Um, but it's stars and and Fourth of July is yeah, yeah, yeah. Five dollars. Here's another Marcasite pen. Well, I thought I'd put the two together. Yeah. Oh, so like lot them. Yeah. Okay. Um, is this part of something or? No, they're two little. Oh, scarabs. scarabs I see. Now they're I see two it. Little, like scatter pens. Yeah. They're called. But, but they're, they're, they're like the Beatles, right? Yeah, scarabs. I'm trying to focus in on it so you can see. I don't want to take it out of the bag. Because there's nothing amazing here that... Why did you like this one? Uh, just because I like the stone. Okay. And it's not like your typical agate uh, stone necklace. I thought you'd like this because of the jade. It's kind of cute. Is it silver? It's like a safety pin, no. Okay. But that, maybe it's gold filled? Mm, I don't know. I didn't see a mark. If there was a mark? No, I don't know. I'm just oh, asking. Oh, no. I didn't see a mark. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to look, take too long looking. Nah, it doesn't matter. At five bucks, who cares? And you know you got a few That's things. That's the that, Ralph Lauren yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is Ralph Lauren. This one came with matching earrings. And it looks like it's kind of like, uh, what, a, a leather, leather strip? Yeah. yeah. So so it's it's just a silver colored metal. For five bucks, again, reset if it's twenty dollars. Here's another one that's also leather, and this has earrings too. And then this was the different one that was different, right? This is kind of a belt buckle, but it's also leather. And this one didn't have earrings. Did you find the earrings? No, didn't have okay. Now um, I'm assuming these are silver. I guess you liked them because of the stones, right? Um, uh, those yeah, are it's uh, garnet. yeah, garnet. That's it. All right. And then and then these are the ones that you just need to take a look at just to yeah. see what the hallmark is. I might do it while you're driving, you know. But well, I'm not gonna. This next one, I think we. If it's the one I'm thinking, it's gonna be all closed. It's up this dead end street. I'm, I might just park down here and let you run up. Okay. Because it's not far from the right. avenue. So so far, eighty bucks spent. So. All right. Um, what did we spend at this? Twenty four. Twenty five. Twenty five. Um. This reset is marked three three three. So we're assuming that's for ten carat. No, that I think ten carat is three ten or something. Three ten. No, maybe three, three. Uh, it's like we're at 24, maybe it's, maybe it's 12 carat, 333, no, 24, no, 24, so 333 is like one third, one third of 24 is, is eight, so is it eight carat? It could be nine carat. Okay, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to put it in this bag, 
It's just a teeny piece of gold. That's not all we got, though. Uh, if it is gold. Maria will test it when she gets it. Do you have something to test eight carat? Well, uh, I have uh, ten carat. Okay. All right, so that's that. All right, uh, I got some perfumes. You're gonna, oh, I was gonna say, mother. They you didn't see so that, but see that blue fast. car? Yeah, it's like, come on, idiot. It's not a, you know, he's driving his sprucker. Uh, I bought this. It's a Juicy Couture for $3. It's it's a set. I don't know. They gave me this for a dollar, even though I was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know this one. I didn't pick it. Tussie. You know what? I guess I would have taken it, Tussie. I just didn't, I wasn't looking hard enough. She gave him a dollar. Yeah. It is a cologne. I thought there was another one with Avon. I don't know any of these. Spirit of the Eagle. I don't know. I never heard of it. Three dollars. It's made by. Uh... Oh, the air conditioning's working nice. Best Line Products. Who the hell knows who they are? Um, this one I know. Desert Flower. It's made by Shelton. Uh, this ought to be two fluid ounces. Okay, this ought to be like forty and up. And I, I never heard of this one. Uh, Byzance. Byzance. And it's made by somebody I never heard of. Uh, let's see. Who are you? I can read you. Oh, no, actually, Rocha, Rocas. That's actually good. Rocas is, is good perfume name. Then we got some more jewelry. I'm just moving stuff around. And I'll just go through it here. What'd you do with that little... I put it in with the oh. coral. Oh, so okay, here's just a bag. Alright. And I'll put that back in the bag when I'm done. Anything amazing or yeah. Yeah, I thought I'm you, getting you know Although you might like this because it was new. Nicole Miller. Yeah. Yeah, but that's new. But I like the look of it. Yeah, I thought you might like it. Uh, and it was only two dollars. Yeah, I that's could easily true. put that on for fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh, this is a Lucite Cameo in black and white, and it's a ne necklace. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't see that Lucite one. I saw this one. This is a black Cameo. Are you going to do a Cameo lot? Maybe. This pen was old. You can just look at the No, white. that one, that's Czechoslovakian uh, glass. Glass, yeah. And it has seed pearls. Probably not real pearls. But, it, but that's an old, that's like 19. Definitely. Look, look, look at it. It's, it's machine pressed on the back or something. They, they uh, just pounded the design. Does it say Czechoslovakia on it? No, but I know the You just know, okay. Oh, and then you got this because it had some nice beads in it. It has the Italian. Uh, yeah, here you could see. You can see nice beads. And this is just a. I guess a, it has seed beads. <sighs> I just gotta show you. Yeah, I'll open it. It looks really long. It's like a triple strand. Oh, it's multi strand, more here. than triple. Oh, you, gotta, you gotta be careful with it because. I'm gonna put it right back in the bag. Oh, no. It, oh, is it broken? I don't know. Here. Shit, it might be broken. That's okay. Just sell it for parts. Yeah, it's hard to tell. It looked like the hook was missing. Yeah, I don't see a hook here. I mean, here's the other hook on the other side. Oh, well then what's missing is the chain to hook it into. Oh, okay. So, so basically you just need the chain. It's still a nice piece, so whatever. You know, for what we paid, who cares? 24 for everything. All right, uh, on to the next sale. 25 for everything. On to the next sale. Yeah. I mean, we saw this little camper. And uh, we're like, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, somebody could sleep in that, you know? Like, you can actually probably rent it out. It had air conditioning and everything. You just plug it in. As long as there's a little potty and, you know, some water. Cats. Where? Oh, those are actually pretty cool. All right, um, last sale. Got these bowls. I got eight of them. Some are shaped, four are shaped like shell. I mean, that might be worth looking up. You never know. Um, and then... The other four were shaped like this. So, uh, it was like less than $3 a piece, actually. 22 The lady was like, uh, okay, nine times this, 27 I'm like, 27 wait a minute. It's supposed to be like, because uh, she was like $3 a bowl. But yeah, she, then she said I could have seven. Yeah, but there weren't nine bowls. There were eight. So oh. I was like, wait, I think you did some wrong math, <laughs> you know? Because uh, she's like, you can have for 25 Even if I had paid what she wanted, right, before she gave me the discount. 
uh, I would have paid 24 <laughs> You know what I mean? So she was upcharging me. So anyway, they're pretty cool. One of them had a label. So I can maybe look it up. I don't know. Uh, they're probably not... I mean, they're probably very expensive when you go and buy them. But they're probably not too expensive when you try and sell them. But anyway, uh, another $22. Well, spent. we're going to take this stuff out to the flea market tomorrow and just sell it there. Okay, so I found the one, the one with the label. I have to look it up. I don't know if you can read this, but it says IGD, and then it says Made in Poland. So now I know what it is. See? Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Even I can see it. So, so that's what it is. I'll look it up. Uh, I don't. I don't. I'm assuming it doesn't have much value. If it doesn't, then uh, flea market tomorrow. All right. Um, a dollar. It's just Murano beads here. Let me focus on them. And I was considering these these boxes. Ugh. They were the BMG building in the city. So I'm going to see if I can figure out uh, if those things have any value. But uh, I decided to pass on them because while they were kind of cool, they didn't even say BMG. They just had the address of the building. And uh, the person who told me about it was, what was it, 1480? Or, uh, I don't remember now. I'll see if I can figure it out, but whatever. All right, uh, so spend another dollar. Put it in the jewelry bag. Was it, is it like Tal, Tala something? Cats? I mean, uh, Tanala. Tanala something. Um, refund a donkey. It's, it's that Mexican pottery. There it is. But it doesn't say who made it, but it looks like that, I think it's Tanala or something like that pottery. Usually you see the birds, right? So, well, we spent 13 on everything. And two dollars was a donation. This we got as a coaster. I don't look that up, but I, th I think that's for um, one mile. Desk. Okay. As a coaster. Yeah, Dan Morris design. It's just a Cocopelli Southwestern design. They call it Thirsty Stone. I have no clue. Well, I assume it, it sucks up the moisture. Yeah, like a, like if it's condensation. Um, so we got those two things. I got a Deadpool shirt. I'm just gonna wear it. I like that. Yeah, you can. Ha I would give it to you, no. uh, but I don't think it's your size. Uh, but yeah, I, like I always never buy t-shirts and certain clothes. I like that one. And I the like stores because I, like I can just. No, color. yeah, that, this is a color I'd wear for sure. So I got that, and then let's see what else. Oh, and we got some stuff to get the cat, cat high later. <laughs> more mellow. We're gonna get him stoned. Yeah, I'm gonna get him high. Uh, these are catnip balls. It was a, it was an animal rescue thing. Here's one that's shaped like a fish. That's just a ball. That's a ball. And, and then there's one more. These are actually the most expensive things we bought. Yeah. There was like five bucks. And this one, I guess, is what? A berry? It's a mouse. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's a mouse. And that's the tail. Okay. And then this is the most interesting thing I got. It's signed Drum. For some reason, Drum is familiar to me. Uh, it's a mirror. It's glued in, and it just has a real kind of, it's, they meant it to hang this way, I guess. It's also, it could have been a table mirror or something like that, but it's just a weird abstract shape, right? and it looks like aluminum. What, you don't, like, blind people? No, I'm not, I, it's, it's kind of aimed up, I think, you know, but whatever. Um, I gotta look this up, it's just, it's interesting. And again, sign drum. I'll find out what that is. But that, that's it. Another what, uh, $13. I, I finally got something I'm going to take into the store. Uh, it's an Xbox 360. I see a controller, power brick. It says he has the internet adapter and then some non valuable games. Yeah. Okay, uh, but it was only $10. Here, this is like 20 bucks by itself. So, you know. All right, let me get in the front. I also bought some baseball cards. Show those. Got the air conditioner. Um, he gave me the whole thing for like ten bucks. <coughs> now I am. Oh god damn it! Let's see this. I'm not a baseball guy. So this says tops picture cards ninety one. Uh, I guess five hundred count vending pack. Educational. I don't. Know. I'll look those up. I have no clue. This one says nineteen eighty eight, but. Let's see. Hmm. One card was pulled. What did they show on the top? Paul Sorrento. That's uh, the Sorrento cheese guy, right? So 
Sorrento? Or is it is it Sorrento's Cheese or Sorrento's Pizzeria? I remember Sorrento's Pizzeria. But I don't know. For $10, I'm like, why not? Give it a shot. And then here's just some assorted cards. I don't even know. That's like, I don't even know what I'm looking at with this stuff. I'm going to basically uh, give it to AJ and see if I got anything good in here. You tell me. This one says like 88, 89, 90 send away glossy sets. Oh, uh, and then there were, oh, what's this? Classic. There was some hockey stuff. So, all from the 90s. You know, maybe there's something good in there. Beats me. And then some of them were actually sleeved. Like these. Brad. William Floyd. Dikembe Mutombo. Steve Young. I never heard any of these guys. Wayne Dillon. Wally Joyner. Pete Stem Stemkowski. I think I heard of him. I don't really know much about hockey, though. I oh, hear some packs that they're opening. I don't know. For ten dollars, it's like the worst that could, that could happen is I lose ten dollars. Oh, Don Russ, the rookies, nineteen eighty one puzzle and cards. Okay, I'll look at that later. Oh, and here, I guess this is all football. But uh, here, this is another. Brian Lee. Letch. Okay. And yep. I'm just gonna bring it into the shop and maybe AJ will see something that I don't. Alright. So that was what? Uh 20 bucks. 20 bucks. <sighs> this sale is one we go to pretty often. What they had that was probably very could could be exciting for a collector today was they had a bunch of red line hot wheels. But uh that I, they showed them to me for a second and prices were like 20 25 I guess and I don't know you know I, I know like maybe if you see them for 5 to 10 you know but at 20 25 I just I don't know and I'm not I can't stay there and, and like check prices and stuff I don't know it would take me forever and I'm not doing it so um what these these are kind of cool though because there's Christmas ones and I they're made in let me put my glasses on I like these though, you know, because they're that hard plastic stuff. They're new. I don't think they're brand new. I got a spot where I can see the the sun's on it. No, well, you're right. They're kind of new. 2015 for this one. I still think it's cool. 2015. So there's a snowman. Here's a, an America dude. Made in China. You want to just pull over so you do see it? Yeah. Here, go ahead and do it now. I looked at the thing because that's right, what was anyway. Just that I'm hot. Okay. Well, even if these aren't expensive, I'll just take them to the flea market because this one doesn't have a date on it. But it's like, yeah, let me see. Yeah, find the spot in the sun. See, that's what they do. Yep. They're new. I know, but I know it's just kind of fun. They're a little solar powered. They'll just rock forever, you know? I'll just take them to the flea market, they're no big deal. The one that, that I liked the most was the Santa. Let me see if there's a date on Santa. That was the one I saw first. Yeah, so 2015. And with Santa, it's just, he just sits there and rocks. I actually thought they were older. That's why Mary keeps yelling, they're new! There's a flower. And this is probably like the dumbest thing I bought today. I only bought six. Here's a little. Yeah, she only charged me fifty cents. Here's a little ducky. It's like doing a jitterbug. And then there's a puppy. Is he broken? Nah, he probably needs some sun. And then you gotta get him going. Let's see. Yeah, see, he's doing a little bit. Some work better than others. He just rot. He does set a little bit. Whatever, it's flea market stuff. It's I think it's fun. I might look him up. What do you call him? 
I'll go Solar Santa. Whatever. Oops. Please don't Person just stop, stop in, the in the middle of the road, like slam your brakes and almost kill us. Thank you. All right, bye. All right. So everything was free, but I, I donated five dollars because whatever. And here's what I I got a gap jacket and an old navy jacket. This stuff I'm going to take out tomorrow. If it doesn't sell, I'll just uh, give it to somebody probably. Uh, I'll show the books in a second. These I'll take into the store. Uh, here, th these are uh, our daily bread. And I got a pile of jeans and a, a jean jacket. So there you go. Well, it was supposedly free, but I gave five as a donation. I'll show the books in a second. Actually, let me just toss these in the back. Oh, that's the jacket. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll show the book in a second. All right. We know people that... Oops, I'm going to try and... Uh, well, they had this yesterday, too. Yeah, that's why. They're done, though. They're just giving it away. Yeah. But I know people... I'm go, I'm actually not going to an antique market tomorrow. I'm going to... Uh, Carney. Carney. That was my mistake. Uh, okay. There, and I also found some books. These will be good for the store. Yeah, so $5 donation. Normally, like clothes, jeans, if I, even if I sell them $3, two, five, here's a Wonder Woman book. Those books are sometimes expensive. Uh, yeah, but I'm actually going to take them to the flea market probably tomorrow. I don't think they're even good to go to the store. You know, I'll scan them once I get off here. But they got to be worth like 20 or more. Uh, Batman. I could actually probably sell. Well, There's a chance I could sell them in the store. Yeah. Oh, nice. That has a tiara. Okay. And then a Harry Potter. If it's a first edition, it could be worth three dollars. I have no clue. But okay, there you go. A couple more sales. Okay, eleven dollars. Mostly more jewelry. Disney pin for a dollar. Can't go wrong. Chippendales cards. Anybody want to play poker? 25 cents. Get it? Poker? I gotta look at them and make sure there's nobody famous in there. Back in the day, it was like Chippendales. Uh, yeah, maybe. You never know. Maybe like it's Tom like Selleck. It's like the same with yearbooks. It's like, you never know yeah, who I, graduated. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure they're worth on eBay like 10 bucks or something, but... Uh, is this... You said you might have got some gold? Oh, that's 10 carat. Oh, what? The safety pin? Yeah, the safety pin. Well, there's a... Oh, it's a necklace. Okay, I'm like, what the hell? Okay. They use it to pin it into the box. So 10, 10 carat, nice. And it could be diamond. Yeah. Okay. So, again, we paid 11 for everything. Um, this, she had jewelry by, who was it? Something. Who's the designer? Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee, yeah. She said they were from someplace south. So they had a necklace. But the, I mean, I'm surprised you took it this had, one. It had the whole set. Oh, so bracelet, earrings. Same with this one. These were all glass beads. They're really nicely made. Um, it's, well, I like the polka dots. You like the polka dots the best? I like the polka dots. I like the design oh, okay. of it. Yeah, these these were nice, though. You could see the beads that they used here. It's probably just for the quality of it. Even if it's not, And I'm actually surprised you took... Oh, uh, I'm having a... Where's that from? I've seen that. Is That's that a JJ? JJ? I'm having a, it's probably going to be You're good day, a bad good day. day. and it's a thumbs up, and then I'm having a bad day, and it's thumbs down. There you it's go. It's just a fun pin. Good day. She charged me a quarter. Bad day. No, that's Actually, great. Actually, I got it for free. Oh, she ran it down? Well, with the Chippendales cards were a quarter, and that was a quarter. Oh, okay. That's just an agate, but it's the way it's wired. It's that's kind of pretty. Green. All right, so not bad, 11 bucks. One more sale? Yeah. One I got to get something to drink. Yeah, we, what, we can stop, maybe eat somewhere else, like well, it's already 3 o'clock, so you want to go to the sale before they close up. Definitely, definitely. Then we'll eat. Fine. Marie's right here. <laughs> Marie's going through these. My Chippendales. Chip Look, he's on a bunch of bananas. Hey, you said you like bananas. <laughs> oh, that's not what you meant. Right? <laughs> what, what's it's the guy so in the funny. jungle? You were saying how badly they were silhouetted. Well, I don't like the way they silhouetted them. Yeah, it's like they, they make... They, you know, they gave them slimmer waists and so like Tarzan nobody's like over that. There. Yeah. The Joker. 
These are from 1988. The, the Joker should have been holding the bananas or something like that. There was another guy that was holding Well, look at that, sh that shirt. Well, they're the, the banana ate, hammocks. Look, he ate through the skin of the pineapple. He's so baby. passionate. With pineapple <laughs> love. See, he was leaning on a wall or something, so yeah, it looks weird. Yeah, it does the way look they weird. Oh, here's the other guy with the banana. Yeah. Bananas just, and coconuts. What? You, you, like, you like coconuts and bananas? And, yeah. Nobody recognize it? That looks like Ladies Rambo. Mullet. Yeah, I'm saying it looks like Rambo. Well, it's 1988. I know. So I'm saying, I'm just saying it looks like Rambo. I don't know what there. that outfit is. Chunky uh, denim jackets. All right, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't going to get better. Okay, here. For $2, this is the jewelry that I got. And then I bought some records for $11. I don't know. You know. Oh, those uh, are nice clothes. I thought you might like them. I'll just put them here. Do you, do you need to see them? I just want to put these away. Here. Tell me if there's anything special about them. This is just a bracelet, and it was like two. She said two dollars for everything, so I was like, uh, it's just a mother of pearl. Oh, the stone is missing from these. From both? Yeah, because the glue is there, but the stone is missing. Arr, okay, then it doesn't matter. Uh, this, but here, I thought you'd like this. Oh yeah, that's old. No, I know that is. That, is it one uh, necklace? Yeah. That's totally one necklace. No, it's not. Oh wow, it's two or is it three? Okay, well then that's good. No, you did okay with these. these no, I know you'd like that. That that I was like. But you gotta be careful with these because they. They break. crack, I know. But if you sell them as three, you know they can do repairs if they have. To. I mean, it doesn't matter. You could just say one broken glass if there's uh, some or not. Oops, sorry. No, scratch me with your girl claws. No, it was a stupid seatbelt. All right, then I got these records. Most of them are like I don't know. <sighs> I'll do this yeah, one. don't get shell stuff anymore. I just, I just was holding I said, well, how much for the... And she goes, just give me $2 right I'm like, okay, fine. Here's David Live. I didn't even check the conditions of the records because they were only 50 cents a piece. One lady was all like, oh, it looks like you got all the best stuff. I said, well, it's the end of the day. I'm sure the best, best is gone. But this is actually pretty good. David Live. Um, I don't think it's worth a million dollars, but it should, ought to be worth at least 20 or so. I got Grace Jones. Remember Grace Jones? Uh, pull up, up, pull up to my bumper, baby. With your big, long limousine <laughs> black limousine something like that <laughs> do you remember that song let me see if it's on there uh, nope it's oh but the bullshit song is on here <laughs> i don't know that one so grace jones i just took that for 50 cents more of the monkeys oh look i thought this would be fun uh, john travolta sings <laughs> alias bob Barino from welcome back carter that's why nobody knew who he was it's, it's bob Barino. Who is that guy singing? It's John Travolta. Who? Bob Barino. Then I took the Ventures because, I mean, at 50 cents, I forget, at Ventures a go-go because I like some of the covers. This one, oh, here's another Monkeys. Pis uh, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Jones, LTD. And here's the back. That's how I knew it was the Monkeys. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, we're the Gorillas. That's a real band, you know. They do animation. I don't know if they like bananas. Then I got some of these ventures because I like these. Like this. You know, I just really like the covers. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. You know? I don't even know who that is. I don't know, but I got a feeling their music is kind of like, you know, they got three guitars. Yeah, Beach Boys. How, oh, The House of the Rising Sun. There is a house in Newark, a house in Newark. Uh, did I say Newark? There is a house in Newark. There is a house in New Orleans, the house of the rising sun. Whatever. Here, this one too. Walk, don't run. I just figure it's cool go-go shit. Uh, this one looks like it could be signed. So I just went for it. No clue. La Sobernana. They had more of them. Believe it or not, they had a... They had a... I was going to say... They had a Beatles album left. Do you believe that? Like at the end of the day? Beatles? Is it in bad shape? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It was 50 cents. Who cares? Ventures, let's go. This one didn't have a go-go girl. But look at this girl. Uh, look at that. <laughs> That's like, what the hell is that? Uh, Sly and the Family Stone. Remember them? Three Dog Night. That's like stupid. Uh, I got the Ink Spots. I know. Uh, if, if I didn't care. Uh, I just got this because this is Jesus and Mary Chain. 
And I never see Jesus and Mary Chain vinyl. They're like uh, from the 90s, I think. There it is again, Jesus and Mary Chain. Then I got Silverfish because I don't know who they are. I got a Joan Jet and a whatever. Here's a picture disc. Let's see. I just grabbed it because it was a picture disc. Every good day deserves fudge. Mud, oh, Mud Honey. A Mud Honey, maybe. I'd be Mud Honey. But it is a picture disc, so whatever. Let me go backwards now. Oh, here's another Ventures. Oh, and this one was signed by this guy. Uh, Richard Stoltz Stoltzman. Who the heck is that? I don't know. He must be a clarinet guy or something. Is that a clarinet? So, you know, I just, I actually looked through all the records when I saw the sign one. I was like, all right, let me look. Oh, here's another one by The Ventures, and they have potatoes. Yeah, that's it. Uh, one more sale? Yeah. Okay, one more sale. Bye.